always had a smile on his face and demanded your best. Sheriff Benny Napoleon gave his life not only to protecting others, but helping others. Gwen Burton remembers how he inspired her. He was my basketball coach for PAL and uh, mentored me since 12 years old. Came to all my, my graduations, um, <laughs> sent me a, a, a big bouquet of flowers when I went to the University of Louisville and graduated. During yesterday's visitation, the parking lot outside of Swanson's funeral home was nearly full. As a group of people, all wearing masks while social distancing, came to pay their respects to the late sheriff. I'm just trying to process it. I really am. I want to smack myself and say it's not real. I've said it. I think millions of times from the moment that he was hospitalized, even up until today, the support has just been overwhelming and we're so appreciative. Tiffany Jackson is Benny Napoleon's only child, losing her father just a week before Christmas. After a COVID-19 diagnosis that kept him in the hospital for weeks before passing away at the age of 65. Seeing all the people come in and honor him, you know, in and out of uniform, hearing all the kind words, you know, people walking up to, to his casket, you know, saluting him. It's amazing, but it's still kind of unbelievable at the same time. Allie Hoxie back live for us. And Allie, what information is available about the funeral? Well, that information is being kept quiet at this point. That's because the funeral is meant to be just a private event for family and very close friends. It will be held sometime tomorrow. Allie Hoxie this morning for us. Allie, thank you.